let me sort out my lighting so that I can look like a light skin. Do -dum -do -dum 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 -dum. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, and also welcome back to the second installment to the long overdue life lessons with Sibi, the university versus apprentice. Welcome back guys, welcome to the second edition of Life Lessons with Sibi, the university versus the apprenticeship edition. Are we ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, basically I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time because I want it, I wanted time to think about it. And to say it in a way that I don't seem like an idiot or I'm imposing my views because for you that do watch my channel, you know that I have gone to university. I made that decision. Am I regretting it? Yes. Can I take it back? Yes, but oh, I'm already in it. So basically, um, I'm just going to talk about um, university options and apprenticeship options in a way that maybe your six form heads or your college heads are not making very clear to you. Sorry, I'm just gonna give you around three tips about why I don't think university might be the best choice, and on the other hand, compare it to why I think apprenticeships might be the best choice. So if you find yourself falling into either one of these categories, then maybe that's something that you need to consider. So, number one, university courses vary in prestige. And by prestige, I mean the actual outcome of your hard work, how easy it's going to be to get a job, how easy it's going to be for you to be able to do what you want with that job, and how much you're going to get paid for that job. And this is where I have problems with how much people actually pay for university, because if you look at it, People paying nine thousand per term to go to university and become a doctor or do medicine. Medicine can go everywhere. So to do medicine, they'll pay nine thousand a month. But <laughs> this is why I don't do medicine. <laughs> to do medicine, they will pay nine thousand per term, and they'll be in every single day. They'll have work, and I guess in if you're looking at that way, that nine thousand becomes worth it. That in that being taught is really high end stuff, but then there's also people who do my courses, media communications, which are in two days a week, which are not even as many as the hours as you would be content hours with teachers as you ever be in for medicine. Now, do you see what the difference is? How then am I gonna be expected to pay the same amount for a course? but know that they are completely different in qualifications. On one end, medicine, if you look at it from what it's supposed to be, you're saving lives. But on the other hand, media, yo, we're giving people life, we're giving people enjoyment. But, it's something that's more hands-on, you practically teach yourself. So why am I paying 9000 for two days a week, which is like five hours on both those days? If it was up to me, my course would be 2000 for the two days they expect us to be in. Point number two, I think we will overlook the fact that an apprenticeship is life. My goodness, it is life. You have literally said, you know what, I cannot be asked to go through all these modes and whatever and whatever. And I'm going to go straight to working. I'm going to work. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to get my money. <laughs> I'm going to get my apprenticeship to pay for my university course. Do you not see? I'm going to get the company car. I'm going to get the company phone. I'm going to get the company husband. I'm going to get the company house. And I'm going to just be a happy company person. Why don't people consider that? That's the five C's of life. Five C's of life. And for like an hour on death, depression, division, diarrhea. See, it doesn't even have a fifth one. 
doesn't have a fifth of one not that good. Literally, people wake up. You don't. Apprenticeships are so good. I mean, obviously, they're hard to find. Not everybody gets them, but if you can, just really, really think about it. And I just can't. I just can't. But point number three. There is honestly one thing that apprenticeships and university equally do well in different ways. I I think I've been demonizing the system of education. Some people love education. I I think I like education, but I'm not really. No, I'm just one. I'm one of them. University allows you to explore your passion in depth. It allows you to see the history, the past. the people who have also discovered it in different ways. And it opens your mind, and it allows you to be in an environment of like-minded people to be able to gain new. Thought processes that way, and I think maybe that's the only reason why I'm ready to stick out through it because is that experience is going in on every Monday morning and knowing that I'm not only gonna be thrown a theorist in my face, but I want to hear other people's opinions. I mean, obviously in sex form. It was like yeah, yeah we're all doing so good but you know there was always that one person in your class that loved sociology really loved it or there was always that one person in art that really loved art and then imagine being in an environment where you all love art where you all love media you all love this that's what university is providing for you is providing you friends with like minded interest and it's just it's very mind blowing because even in a workplace some people don't do the course that they're working for and apprenticeships they provide you with an escape from a system that you have become totally accustomed to they provide you the opportunity to be like you know what it was great it was fun but i need to move on that's the final thing are you do you want to be where you want to be in a years time now or do you want to take the long way around to just experience school your age for the last few years that is actually going to be just turn up and turn up and you know, and turn up in late nights and friends if you want that if you want education if you want it in a way that you wish secondary school could have did it go to university but if you are done i mean if you even have doubts about university i'm telling you don't do it don't go just go and get your dev apprenticeship you know what i mean get your money your money so i can rewrite my present day